So here we are back in Mittenrock. Somewhere near the Northern Empire. It's over there. This is uh, Dunkashain. The Desert Shadows Rest. I think that means something along those lines. Been a bit of a fight and I'm still not there. Couldn't decide which colour to do the demons. So I did them both. <laughs> but uh, it's not come out too bad. I think it's very far away from what I had in mind. But uh, it's come together. Adding splashes of colour at the last moment. But uh, Yeah, I've got, I've got a little few bits and pieces, like, I tried to work in a larger version of the original Desert Temple design, which is this. And, uh, it sort of worked, but it's sort of too big. So now I'm trying something smaller, like this. And then this is another variation that hasn't really played out. So, in the end, excuse me. So, yeah, inside. Don't know why I came in through the scene, through the window. I need to, um, yeah, inside is like, it's actually technically a maze where it was supposed to be, but you could actually get in from either side. It's just not very straightforward. So these are actually the original towers of the Desert Temple that were sat here. I moved them forward one block to align it with the grids that I usually use. Um, and that was true of a number of walls. But uh, this is the original floor level. Some of these are the original blocks, uh, particularly these ones. I've done this sort of thing before in another desert temple. Dug down around the original center well and um, just installed little uh, places to bury the dead. And then uh, continue the stairwell down this side. Um, as I noted in the previous video, the um something triggered the TNT at some point to blew out this hole which um is pretty much intact. I haven't removed any more. Um and then I just added putting in as many uh little cubicles as possible. I haven't removed any of the actual ore. Um, that's why this, the lumps are a little weird. Uh, and then we have, uh, oh, let's see. Yeah. I kept digging out in the hopes of finding something, um, like a, a ravine. Um, but it never happened. <laughs> and I never found one. Uh, despite going down even further. And the building an even bigger hall. So this is actually layer 35 I think we sat on, stood on. And despite expanding it and putting in an area underneath the above balcony and then putting in all of these rooms around the edge, I still completely failed to find anything. In the end I dug down in the corners right here Eventually this one came out onto uh, a lava pit, 
which I dug around and discovered came out in um, a ravine, which with a little bit of looking around, I was eventually able to discover came down onto this. Big old ravine. Of course, given that one is a burial chamber, a necropolis, I don't see why they would have a mine shaft here, so I'm not quite sure what the point of finding this was. It's kind of a bit redundant. Um, it only do a little bit of work to tidy it up, but I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to be going with it. This is probably as decorated as this, as this is going to be. I'm not going to go through and uh, knock out all of the stone. Um, just make a little tweaks to add in stuff if necessary. But I don't want to go overboard. I decided I want to build a small settlement over here, I've marked out with the uh, Lipis Lazuni um, a waterway, starting at this little pond, or lake as they're called in the code. Um, and yeah, just have a little waterfall, and meander it around, split it, and uh, Put a few settlements in there, nothing too big, some basic structures. Probably want to tidy up the um, the river. Uh, I'm not actually sure, I think this goes past the front gate. Let's see, I'm not sure where this goes. guys are never going to know, because I'm going to say it again. I suppose we can take advantage of this biome, but I really don't want to expand the city anymore. There's plenty of stuff everywhere. So, a shot of a very old structure. Probably goes back five years at this point. Or maybe four, I don't know. I shall say it again.